Welcome back for my final daily report market analysis video with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Hantech on Thursday, the 21st of May. Looking at this gold chart and it's tinged with disappointment, I think, the fact that we've got this uptrend channel I've now drawn in. It's sort of pulling higher lows and higher highs. But again, the sort of attempted move to break out and hold the move above 1746 has just sort of come up short and rolled over. And it's pulling back. Um, you're within the uptrend channel, so and also above the 1722 breakout pivot, which pivots on gold tend to work pretty well, actually. So holding above that, you're still positive. Um, and essentially, within that outlook, you're sort of looking at weakness as a chance to buy. However, it's just sort of struggling. And, and I mean, if you look at the um, or read my gold analysis on our website today, it's sort of shows that yields are moving sideways, dollars moving sideways. So gold may well struggle to really pull sustainable gains to the upside uh, in this market. However, I still think on a longer term basis, you're going to see upside moves on gold. It's just that the near term outlook is still struggling to really gain traction. Um, below 1722, you start to lose a bit of the the impetus and a little bit, uh, essentially that would be a, a one week low if that were to be the case and a little breakdown momentum indicators yeah sort of there or thereabouts positive but not quite um, MACD lines are a bit of a concern RSI sort of hitting 60s and rolling over is he's sort of essentially still buying into weakness but not expecting too much decisive upside before you get little corrective moves back, I think. And that's the concern I think you've got with gold over the past sort of month or so. You're still looking to buy into gold, into weakness. Um, but it's just cannot get that real traction of a breakout. And um, it's a little bit of a concern for me, but still broadly positive on gold. But little bit tinged with disappointment once more. You can see that on the early chart, just rolling over in the last sort of 12 or so hours and um, pulling back towards the 1222 support again. Momentum indicators on the hourly, certainly not as positive as they were. So again, a little bit of caution with that, but essentially it's trading above 1722, you're still positive, but it's just a little bit of a concern how the gold market in the last week or so has not really managed to break out. So I wish you good luck in your trading today. Click here to subscribe to our analysis videos. Go to our website to sign up for our webinars. And you can click here to also watch our Trader Talks videos to gain some top trading ideas.